Olympics, for those of you who don't know, we have lots of different sports all around Victoria's and they're run through localised clubs. They have different training sessions and then different competitions as well. Obviously with COVID at the moment, it's all taking, we're not actually allowed to train obviously in some areas and the competition element is taking all a bit of a restructure. But the awesome thing about Special Olympics and all the volunteers behind it is we will make it happen. So it's still very much ticking along in the background and we've had some really awesome virtual events and some really awesome social engagement through the clubs as well at the moment. So I'll give you the list of all the sports that we offer at Special Olympics Victoria. We've got athletics, basketball, bocce, bowling, gymnastics, swimming, tennis and snow sports. So that is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so the awesome thing about Special Olympics as well is not every club necessarily offers every single sport, but if you did have a specific interest in a sport, Special Olympics often tries to find a way to figure out how we can make that work with your location. So for today's training session, I'll let you know, we've got three different elements to the session. We've got a short warm up. Then the actual workout session, which is seven different exercises, and I'll take you through, I'll let you know how each exercise might relate to each sport we offer at Special Olympics. And then we've just got a short cool down at the end. So very similar to any kind of training session you might have um, at Special Olympics, no matter what sport it might be. So what we'll do is we'll do in the workout, each exercise we'll do it twice. So the first time you can get a bit of a feel for it, and the second time we'll be rolling. We'll do it for 40 seconds and then we'll have a 20 second rest and then go again for 40 seconds. But don't worry, I will keep you up to date about what we should be doing and how we're, how we're going to flow through the session. Awesome. So if everyone's ready to jump into the warm up and we're all good to go, um, let's get to it. We did say you can bring some little weights if you wanted to, but you won't need any weights for the warm up. So we'll just get in position. So I'll be showing you through the standing approach. Lewis is doing the seated, obviously, but there's lots of different variations to each um, exercise. So we'll talk you through those as well. All right, so our first warm up exercise, we're gonna do a good morning stretch. So how that one goes is both hands behind your head and then just lean forward slightly. No need to go all the way over, take it nice and slow. If you're standing, make sure you've got a nice firm stance, feet shoulder width apart and then come back over. You can feel that little pinch between your shoulder blades. Feel like we're starting to warm up. And over again, just making sure we don't overextend. Oh, feels good in the morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. And coming back to the top. Lovely, good work guys. All right, next one we've got is called as a bent over freestyle. So what you want to do is extend your arms forward like you're diving in the pool. Bend over a little bit if it helps you feel more stable. Now you've got your palms facing down. Push them down towards your sides. Keep going all the way through till they're at the back. And you can wiggle your fingers, make sure they're there. And back through to the front. Really stretch. Nice. And what, twice more, we'll go twice more, guys. Good job, looking good, guys. <laughs> and once more, just to make sure we're really awake this morning. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. There we are, awesome, there we go. Awesome guys, so the last one we're gonna do is a variation of a little kettlebell swing. So what you wanna do is again, if you're standing feet shoulder width apart, nice little bend in your knees so you're nice and stable. So and arms out in front of you, fist clamped, oh sorry, um, fists together. And then we're gonna let our arms drop. As we let them drop, little bend in the knees. So your arms are down in between your legs and back up. Oh, feel that stretch in your arms, feel that stretch in your shoulders. Now we're getting our lower body involved, getting warm up all the way through. Here we go, and we'll go once more. Down to the bottom. And back up. Awesome, guys. Warm up done, shake it out. Good That's work. <laughs> Feeling nice and warm. Awesome, so like I said, each um, exercise in the workout, 
Uh, we'll go through twice, we'll do 40 seconds, have a 20 seconds break, and then we'll go back to it. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, nice and simple, just to get us started. If you wanna grab your weights, if you're feeling strong in your hands, you can. We're just gonna do a marching, a standing march. So if you're like Lewis, you're working on pumping those arms, and if you're like me, try and coordinate your legs moving with your arms at the same time. You might not want to use the arms, you might just want to focus on your legs. There we go guys. So this is a, um, helps to improve our aerobic fitness, the standing march, which is obviously key to all the sports we do at Special Olympics Victoria. Keep going guys, three more seconds. That's it, give yourself a little break, shake it out. If the weight was too much, drop the weight, absolutely no problem. And we'll get back into it shortly. Let yourself have a little breather. <laughs> Shake out your arms. All right, guys, get it going again. And go for it. This one's a nice, simple one. We'd have an aerobics um, component to any sport training session we have at Special Olympics Victoria. So this is something you could be doing at any sport all around Victoria. Come on, Mom. Keep going. Keep it going about halfway there now. Whew. Awesome, guys. It looks so cool, all of us doing it together in unison, <laughs> marching along. <laughs> Great job. All right, five more seconds. Here we go. Almost done. And relax. <laughs> awesome, first exercise down. All right, the next one we're gonna do is a side raise and a front raise. So what that means is you want your arms by your side. You can have your weights if you like. So we're gonna go up out to the side to make a T shape and then we're gonna come back down. So nice and slow, then out to the front and back down. So you just wanna do it nice and slow. Don't want to be, when you come back down, dropping if the weight's too much. Just make sure you drop that weight and you're keeping it nice and cool and controlled. Make sure you've got a nice, firm, supportive base underneath you if you're standing. That's it. Keep it going. So this one here, uh, having strength and stability in your arms is obviously super key for lots of different sports, but particularly what we have at Special Olympics Victoria, basketball, netball, our athletics. So think about if you're shooting into the hoop in netball or basketball, super important to have not only strength, but be nice and stable. Ooh, kept you going too long. Guys, take a break. Sorry. <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, shake it out. We'll start again shortly. Like I said, if it feels too much with the weight, take it easy as long as we're keeping nice and controlled, nice and slow. That's the way to do it. So the next one we're going to do is a bicep curl with a combination march on the spot. But we'll oh, yeah. We can do some of it or some of the exercise or all of it at once if you're still feeling strong. So the bicep oh, curl, Lord. you want your arms, palms facing up, elbows bent, and you're going to bring it in to your chest and then back down. So again, when you're bringing it back down, make sure you're not dropping it. Just nice and slow and controlled. Make sure you're nice and up straight, not bending forward or back. Now, if you're feeling confident with that, you might want to add in our little march again. <laughs> this is your testing your coordination, guys. <laughs> if you don't want to do your arms, you can just get your march going on the spot like we did in the first exercise. Looking good, guys. All right. Almost there. Five more seconds and we'll give it a breather. All right, guys, shake it out. And now we've got the combination, we'll be ready to jump back into it. <laughs> so coordination is really key for all of the sports that Special Olympics Victoria offers. But particularly if you're thinking about gymnastics, soccer, tennis, or snow sports, coordination is absolutely key. All right, we're ready to go again? Let's do it. Awesome. They think about if you're diving on the court with your tennis racket, you've got to be coordinating that lower body and upper body. If you're weaving down a hill, snow sports, coordination is absolutely key. Almost done, guys. You're doing so well. So, so well to stay with me for this long. 
<laughs> Here we go, last five seconds. Last one. That's it, I think. <laughs> All right, so you'd be happy to know you're halfway there. We've got four more exercises to go. <laughs> So the next one we're going to do is a row. You can either do it standing up straight or you can have a slight bend over if that helps with your stability. So what you want to do, get your stance shoulder width apart, little bend in the knees like we've been doing. Hands, um, palms facing in towards your legs and then slowly bring your arms up until your elbows are fully bent and then back down. Again, you can have the weights if that is that's what works for you. Just nice and slow and controlled. Looking good, guys. So, uh, another, this is another great exercise to increase the strength in your chest. Again, super important for all of those sports that require upper body strength. We were talking netball and basketball before, but all sports, you know, anything we offer at Special Olympics Victoria, definitely can use that upper body strength. All right, guys, almost there. Last five seconds. Last rep. <laughs> Looking good. All right, drop those weights. Shake just like you're on the boat. Yeah, just like you're on the boat. <laughs> awesome, guys. All right, and we'll get back into it for our second time because you know we don't want to just want to do it once. You got to do it twice just to make it that a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, let's go for it, guys. Awesome. Looking great there, guys. Awesome job. Just make sure you're nice and stable. If it's too much, of course, drop the weight. No problems at all there. Great job. Last 10 seconds, guys. The last one. Very good. Whew, shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> good job. So this next one, just to test your coordination a little bit further, we're going to do an overhead press and a side step if you want to add it in as well. So again, another coordination exercise, again, particularly relevant to basketball or netball. So for the overhead press, you want to have your palms facing out, your elbows in, tucked in. And what you want to do is push up to the sky, palms facing to the sky. You might not want to go full extension. You can just go to 90 degrees. That'll work as well. Just make sure you're nice and stable in your movement. We'll just do this one more time. So if you're feeling coordinated, when you get to the top, you can pop one leg out and then bring it back in. Just to make sure you're nice and stable, try, if you're trying this, just run your foot along the ground. Instead of stepping, just like slide it out to the side. Make sure you've got the movement there. If you don't want to, if your arms are burning from the last few exercises, so you can have your arms at your side and just focus on that little shuffle side to side like you would in netball or basketball. All right, guys, last rep. Good work. Shake it out. That one's a bit more, you know, focusing on your coordination. Couple of little variations in there. Awesome, guys. Take that break while it's there. <laughs> All right, getting back into it. Hands at your side, ready to go. Let's do it. And like I said, with the um, leg, if the slide out to the side is what's going to make you feel more stable, that's the way to do it. Or maybe you want to do the full step. Totally, whatever feels the most stable is the key. This one is a really hard to talk and coordinate your body at the same time, guys. This is a challenge for me this morning, so early on Saturday morning. <laughs> Good work, good work. Keep it going. Last two reps, I think. <coughs> Last one. That's it. I think that one's over. We'll move on to the next one, not a problem. This one, we're gonna do a calf raise and a shoulder shrug. So what that means is just come up onto the balls of your feet 
And as you come up, shrug your shoulders up and then back down. You can have the weights in your hand if you want, or you can just drop those weights, get that shrug going. So again, we're thinking about coordination, but also this is really, you're using your muscles in, that we would use in bowling or watching. Those muscles in your shoulders and your legs at the same time, you know, when you bend down to bowl that ball, you've got to be nice and coordinated, feeling nice and strong and confident in your movements to make sure that ball's going where you want it to go. <laughs> All right, last one, guys. And relax, shake it out. We'll do that one once more. And you guys can focus on just the calf raise coming up onto your toes or just focus on the shoulder shrug, whatever works for you. Here we go. Down up and back down. And up and down. Nice guys, looking good, looking nice and coordinated. Between all of our little squares working together. <laughs> Nice guys. Last couple of reps. And the last one here now. Good job. And we're good. Whew, nice. Now you'd be pleased to know we're at our final exercise. <laughs> so we've got a standing or seated twist. So what you want to do is you can have a weight in front of you, but you only need one if you're going to have it. Um, but hands clasped in front of each other and then you're going to pivot to one side making sure that your feet are always facing the front so don't let your toes turn just keep them nice and square facing the front and then you can go to the other side nice nice and slow nice and controlled if you feel the weights pulling you down just drop the weight and just do like I am so that you can get that nice controlled movement so core strength and balance are super key to many sports, but of course, gymnastics and um, netball, when you're shooting the ball, they're super key. So imagine you're on a balance beam and you don't have any core stability. Mate. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> awesome, last one, guys. Probably wouldn't be on the beam for very much longer. <laughs> and relax, well done, guys. So have a 20 second break and then this will be our final rep. Wow. All feeling good or still feeling strong? Awesome. Go for our last rep. Let's do it guys. So just making sure you're not overextending and you're not letting that weight pull you down. You're keeping nice and straight. How you doing, mate? <laughs> Great job. All right, last time. And back to the middle. And relax. <laughs> now time for my favorite part of any workout is the little stretch, the cool down. <laughs> I love that. So again, similar to the warm up, this cool down you could do at any sport around Victoria, any club training, you definitely have to have a warm down session. So we're going to start at the bottom. If you pop one leg in front of the other and your hand um, at the same leg that's forward, just reach down, put your hand on your thigh and just reach down as far as feels comfortable and just get a nice stretch in your back, back hamstring. We'll just hold it here for 10 seconds. I don't know about anyone else, but my, my arms are hurting. Might have put too many arm exercises in there. <laughs> so now just let that one go, guys. What you want to do is just point your toe up to the ceiling. Sorry, you guys can't see my toe, but just point it up to the ceiling, standing nice and tall. Let your calf stretch out. Oh, shrug your shoulders if your arms are feeling sore like mine and shake them out. Oh, good. And we'll just do the other foot, guys. So other foot out in front. So switch your legs over. Back to the stretch we were doing before. Hand on your thigh. Lean forward. That's it. Ooh, feels good. Nice and relaxed now. And then point that, we'll come back and point that toe to the sky to do the calf. Shrug, shake out the top half. Nice, guys. 
just hold it here for a couple more seconds. I'm going to enjoy this for a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And we'll just do a quick stretch, um, chest stretch. So we'll just pop, we'll pop our hands behind, thumbs facing down, and just let your chest stretch out that upper body. Nice. And then bring your arms forward like we did at the beginning, like we're diving into the pool. Feel the stretch the other way. Fingers in front of you, you can wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, make sure they're all still there after our hectic workout. <laughs> nice. And just hold it for five more seconds. Just feel that stretch in your shoulders, so good. All right, guys. And really relax this time because we are done. Well done, guys. That was awesome. <laughs>